I'd like you to, to welcome State Senator Vincent Shaheen, the man with the plan. Yeah. We've got a year and a week. And we're all on a mission together. And it's a very simple mission. In a year and a week, we will fire Nikki Haley. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. If you had a CEO of a company who let over three million of its employees have their most personal, confidential information stolen and then covered up and lied about what happened, you would fire them. That's right. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Yes. Think about it. Think about it. If you had the head of a company, if you had the head of a company who sold out, sold out the most important asset of that company like Nikki Haley did in the Savannah River sellout with the Port of Charleston, you would fire them. That's right. And that's what we're going to do. Yes. Yes. Think about it. If you had the head of a company that took the state car, the company car, or the company airplane and used it for their own purposes, like Nikki Haley did to fly her campaign staff around, like she did to take the state car to North Carolina and pick up $40,000 worth of cold campaign cash, yeah. you'd fire them. That's right. And that's what we're going to do. Yes, we yes. are. That's what we're going to do in one year and a week. We've got a message out there. It's not acceptable to have, a leader, to have a leader of a state who has had zero ideas to improve public education, who's had zero ideas to help small business, who's put forth little effort to pave the roads and fix the bridges of South Carolina. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of being stuck in traffic jams coming from Columbia to Charleston. Are you with me? Yeah. We need a leader back in the governor's office desk. We need a leader who will help to create universal four-year-old kindergarten who will accept our Medicaid money back into South Carolina so we can create jobs and insure people. We need a leader in South Carolina who will bring us together, black, white, rich, poor, from the upstate to the low country. We need a leader in South Carolina who will put the state before their own self-interest. We need a leader who will be here in South Carolina, not traveling around the country holding press conferences about things that don't matter to us. We need a leader in South Carolina, once again, it's easy, who cares about people. Who cares about people? When I think of who we're honoring today, where'd Miss Lucille go? Where's she at? There she is, right in front. I think about what she did with others in this state to help people who needed it most, to help working South Carolinians, to help create an education system that could begin to move our state forward, who could help move us from the bottoms of the list that we want to be on the top of and help to put us on the top of the list that we want to be on the top of. And I see what's happened the last 10 years. I think of how much better we could do. That's right. When I think of the last three years under Nikki Haley where we've had a declining income average for the people of this state, I think of how much better we could do. When I think of how embarrassed we've been by our leaders over the last five years, I think I'm tired of watching late night television and being embarrassed by the leaders of this state. <laughs> we can do it again. South Carolina 20 years ago had low unemployment. We were seen as moving forward in public education. We were seen as one of the bright stars in the New South. And we can do it again. We've got to work together. We've got to pray together. We've got to talk together. We've got to spread the word. We can do it. And in a year and a week, we will do it. In a year and a week, we'll elect new leadership in South Carolina. Change is on the way, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it together. Yeah. One last word. There's a table in the back with some volunteers. We need you to sign up. We need to register people to vote. We need to get people out working. On the way out the door, give a little yourself. I'll keep doing the same, and together we'll make a difference. Thank you.